Hey guys, how's it going today? I just wanted to show you an overview of a custom launcher that I installed on my Vivo X Fold. Um, and this is for anyone that doesn't like this system launcher, um, which I really do personally. But I just wanted to show you a, a nice launcher that I found that I, that I used to have on my uh, Surface Duo every now and then whenever I, I just wanted to change it up and got kind of bored with the you know basic launcher that came on the device. Um, so let's go to settings. Okay, and the first thing you have to do is create a Vivo account. Um, and to, to do that, basically, it'll give you two options. Either set up with a, with a phone number or an email. Um, and since you're in the U.S., you're going to have to change it from the phone number to an email. And then once you change it to email, it'll let you, you know, uh, uh, make an account with an email and a password. And then you just go in here to log in and just type in your, your email and your password. And it'll send you a text message to your device for authorization. And then once you get past that, you go to uh, you just want to type in default. Okay. Go all the way down to default app settings. And then go into permissions and go into default app settings. Go into home screen. And then once you install a new launcher, um, this is, so this is launcher 10, you're just going to click it and hit replace. All right. And then the only, the only way you can do that is if you have a, it's if you have a, if you have an actual Vivo account. Okay. So yeah, so that's the only way you can actually do that and check and see if there's an update under a Vivo account, I don't think there is, but yeah, there's there's no update. Okay, um, so once you get that, you choose the launcher you want. Um, I, I like Windows 10 just because it gives the phone like a really nice professional look. Um, you can't use all this all the stock uh, widgets, unfortunately. But what you can do is you can you can you can find some that work, and then on this launcher, just go to edit the size. You just go and edit. And then it'll let you change, like for instance, for instance, if I change it to that, it'll change the size, but I want to change that back because it looked good before. Just like that. It fits pretty nice. And of course, you can customize where you want everything at. So if I put it right here, put it up here, put it right there. Same thing, but I think it looks pretty good on top there then all the other apps will just naturally fall into place um, then as you can see here so I got I got one comment on my last video asking about the notification badges on the vivo um, system launcher and yeah unfortunately you uh, you really can't get notifications but I've noticed on, on other launchers whenever you install them so this launcher um, also, Nova Launcher, which if, which if um, if you guys want to see a video on that, just put it in the comments. Personally, I really don't like Nova Launcher, um, but yeah, you can get the get the badges working on that too. And for Windows 10 Launcher, you just go to Preference, and you go to General. Actually, no, it's in here somewhere. Let's see here. Here we go. So, notifications go to show notification content as live tiles. Um, it might, it, uh, it may or may not already be switched on whenever you install the launcher. Uh, then of course you can customize how many home screens you have, how you want your folders to look, and then everything like that. I mean, it's a pretty customizable launcher. It's pretty nice, um, and it looks uh, it looks very good on the uh, Surface Duo and Duo Two as well. You can change how you want your icons to look, kind of like normal for the icons. Looks a little bit more better. So let's see. So let's see. Changes the icon, make them a little bit, a little bit bigger. And of course, all these, all these are 
Um, every time you get an update, it's just going to show through on the actual app. You can go in here and click on phone, contacts, video calls, everything like that works perfectly fine. Yeah, so I think this looks this looks pretty neat. You can create folders here that you want to, and to change the actual color and everything of the apps, just like before. It lets you change the size. Let you change the what the label actually says. Icon image. <clears throat> so let's actually change that icon image to that. Unless you want, if you have a if you want to have like an icon tint behind it, background color. So if you change it different colors, see how that looks with the system. It looks good too. Alright, you can still jump into your system settings from here, your launcher settings, this first page, got another page with some emails going, some news feed, calendar, some bookmarks, scroll all over, get a really nice uniform image of all your apps, so this is in phone mode, and of course once you open it up, to your full screen. That's exactly how it's going to look right here. So it looks pretty nice. Okay, so it's like a full tablet mode. And just like on the original launcher for the Vivo, you can move these around independently on each side. So I think, I think this is actually a pretty nice launcher. You can still get, of course, all your, all your notifications up here. When you pull down on the left screen, and then your control center. And you can, if you don't like that, um, all you gotta do is to go into notification and status bar. Actually, it might be under home screen and lock screen. I think it's on this though. Actually, it might be under the actual settings. No. Let's see here, how do you change that? I just never change it because I'd really like it to look like that. Let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, here we go. So just type in control center and you can change it from display the control center notification center separately or you can do it together. So once you do it together, just back out of that, pull down and it's going to look just like it, it generally would on a normal Android phone. See? So you can have all the notifications and everything like that together. I, I like, I kind of like the separate, almost like an iPhone style. And of course, you and I, 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 I don't think I showed this before. You can change your themes as well to different colors, black and white. So let's see how that looks. 
kind of cool. Let's just change it back though. It's blue and white. All right, yeah, so that's another option you can do. Um, then of course, if you want to end up going back to the default launcher, once you, um, if you get tired of potentially that launcher, go to home screen, do system launcher, I'll take you right back to the system launcher. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to turn that back to launcher 10, place, and yeah. Just kind of wanted to show you guys this launcher. Um, it's pretty, pretty neat. And it's pretty neat. See my little puppy right there. And I also wanted to show you too. You can, yeah, you can jump into, of course, obviously any app. I'm installing the new Call of Duty today. It's my puppy on my lap, Chloe. Hey baby. Installing the new Call of Duty today. Jump into pictures. Photos, emails, any app you can just jump straight into. Yeah, it's just a really nice, neat, neat launcher. Yeah, so if there's anything else you guys want to see, any other custom launchers that you that you would like to see, just please put it down in the comments. Um, yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Thank you. Bye.